Hey everybody, um, happy Tuesday afternoon. You know that it's a weird time that we're in right now when you have to think about, actively think about what day it is, uh, but it is Tuesday afternoon, so happy Tuesday. Um, I am joining you from my living room in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm gonna have uh, Logan CV join me on here in a minute. He's gonna answer some questions. Uh, if you don't know who Logan is, uh, you may have heard his name a lot here recently because he's basically winning everything, just about everything there is to win in iRacing right now. So. As soon as he hops on, I'm going to have him join. Logan, it may take me a minute because this is crazy. Um, Logan, if you are on to, yeah, let's see here. All right. We're waiting for Logan to join. Um, if you guys want to send in some questions from him, hopefully he can answer some of those. Hey, Logan, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Doing well. Um, congratulations, because I mentioned at the start of this video, you're basically winning everything that iRacing has to offer. Yeah, I've, um, it's been pretty been pretty fun. You know, this whole uh, coronavirus deal has been kind of wild. And, um, you know, it's got everybody locked up in their house. And a lot of people that have iRacing are now, you know, it's kind of one of their only things to, to do right now. You know, no one's really working. No one's racing for real. So, um, yeah, it kind of gives us a little bit of, um, you know, stuff to do. And um, I used to iRace all the time when I was younger. And uh, I got pretty good then. And I actually moved to Indiana to pursue my real, you know, real job, dirt racing. And um since i moved to indiana for the last two or three years i haven't been able to do very much of it i've been really busy you know we race uh 90 to 100 times a all year time. and, uh yeah basically all the time you know we, all through the winter all through the summer and um yeah we're always racing so uh this kind of gave me a opportunity to get back and start playing i racing again and racing on there and um you know it seemed like i jumped back on and still had pretty good speed and um i've been practicing a lot because i, I want to be winning these races and luckily enough it's been paying off I know that you're involved in USAC, you have World of Outlaws going on right now, but uh, let's talk about the iRacing side of things first before we get into a little bit of your dirt background, because you have, what, two World of Outlaw iRacing wins now? Yeah. And then you also have the first ever uh, Sunday Night Thunder that happened this past, or Saturday Night Thunder that happened this past Saturday night. So how in the world did you get involved with doing all of these iRacing competitions and races, and how did Saturday night come about? Because... That was really, uh, for folks who don't know, this was the first time that we did it. We've had the Pro Invitational Series on Sunday, but we now got to watch some other drivers compete on Saturday night. Yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. Like you said, I've been been in the dirt stuff since, you know, right since they kind of got it going. Like I said, I've done a lot of dirt racing with them guys, and I think a lot of them knew that, um, you know, I was pretty involved with iRacing, or at least I used to be. And, um, you know, like I said, I jumped right back on it and went pretty good. But the, the NASCAR side of things, I hadn't really – especially hadn't done it in a long time. And, um, you know, I got some ARCA and, I, you know, a couple of ARCA starts and a truck start over the last couple of years. And, uh, you know, that kind of got me into that race on uh, Saturday. And like I said, I wasn't really sure if um, I was even going to be allowed to race. And they kind of let me in last minute and um, didn't really get much practice. It seemed like every time I got into a practice, there was everybody was in there and their turn of laps. And um, there was a lot of really fast guys in there. And I didn't, didn't really expect to beat Ty or Chase, Chase there at the end, but um yeah, it was kind of wild. So uh, luckily enough, I actually got in a crash kind of early in the race, which allowed me to get on a different strategy than Chase and, uh, Chase and Ty was there at the end. And uh, I think that was that was the factor that, that won it for me. And that was a really fun race for me because it was just, um, you know, me and uh, Chase Briscoe and a couple of my buddies that were, you know, spotting and, uh, you know, trying to help me out and help me with strategy and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, like I said, it was kind of a fun team effort, but um, it was definitely an exciting race and I was glad to be a part of it. So I've heard that World of Outlaws is very realistic, too. And just watching, you know, obviously I've never been in a sim driving the dirt track, but watching on, on TV, it looks pretty, pretty realistic. So is it more realistic, do you think, on the dirt side of things, or do you think it's more realistic on the actual Cup Series iRacing side? Um, I would say they're both really close. I would say, personally, I would say the asphalt stuff's probably a little bit easier to replicate. Um, the dirt stuff is obviously changes so much every day, you know, every time you're on the racetrack, it's different, but they've done that really well too, to where they get their dirt changing a lot. And like I said, every time you get on the racetrack on iRacing, even it's different and, you know, you're making little setup changes, trying to make yourself just a little bit better. So that stuff's fun. Um, yeah, the dirt stuff's really, really hard and really fun, but I would say just for, um, I would say probably the NASCAR stuff's just a little bit closer. Uh, I'm probably a little bit more picky with the dirt stuff too, just because that's <laughs> what I love and that's what I do. Um, but yeah, I would say the, the pavement stuff's probably a little bit easier to replicate. 
but they've done an incredible job on the dirt too. And I think everybody's really impressed and it shows because we're able to put on really good shows and really good races. Yeah, we have appreciated it here at home because it's been nice to have something normal to do and to watch races on TV, which is what is normal life. So that's nice for us. Uh, fans, continue to send in your questions. But I do have a question that comes. Um, I'm going to not, I'm going to keep him nameless, but it's a current uh, NASCAR Cup Series driver. He also is from California. Uh, but he told me that you were a good karaoke singer. You can probably guess who told me this. Yeah, um, I would so say I, I would say I could you, guess that one. <laughs> yeah, I have to ask you your go-to karaoke song. So for a while, um, I have actually haven't done karaoke in a while. Though two a year or two ago, I was pretty into it. Uh, it seemed like anywhere that we'd go, that everybody would try to get me up there in karaoke. <laughs> and um, my go-to was normally anything really by John Mellencamp. I was a big John Mellencamp yes. fan. I uh, still am, but um, yeah, I don't really know. I think. Uh, we actually have a couple dirt races where they do karaoke, driver karaoke contests for the fans and stuff like that. So um, I won last year at the uh, Kokomo Speedway has a karaoke contest they do for their big race uh, in September, August or September. And um, yeah, they try to get as many drivers as they can. It's kind of a fun deal for the fans and stuff like that to see the drivers karaoke. And yeah, I won that one with uh, That Summer by Garth Brooks. So um, <laughs> got to study up and find another good one to, to do this year in 2020. Yeah, well, I was, I told, I promised that I would ask that question. So you can you get, get him some payback here. Yeah, thanks, Kyle. Uh, so now that we're not racing every single day, and I know you guys race a heck of a lot more, even than just Sundays and what we see in the Cup Series. So what has life looked like, you know, now that there's been a little bit of pause from real life racing action and just hanging out? Are you still in Indiana right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm still in Indiana. Um, uh, it's, this time of the year for us is normally a little bit slow just because it rains so much out here. Um, we're, we should have been racing. I probably have already missed five or so races, five or six races. Um, but yeah, if we start missing races in the end of, end of April, which we already know we're going to miss and uh, May, May is a big one for us. So hopefully, hopefully we get racing, but we're not, no one's really sure what's going to happen. Um, so uh, yeah, as of now, I'm still in Indiana. I tried to get home. Um, I'd never really ever had problems with flights and, uh, my flights got canceled, which obviously is a lot going on right now. So my flights got canceled to go home, which kind of sucks because it um, would be nice to be with family right now. But um, being here in Indiana allows me to have my computer and my iRacing set up. Uh, I don't have that at home. So it allows me to do this stuff online and have fun online and um, still be able to, you know, connect with our fans a little bit and allow them to watch us race. You know, that's kind of kind of what we put on these races for is for the fans at home to still be able to watch the drivers that they love race uh you know to still be able to watch them race are you near your sim currently yeah yeah i am so I'm what, actually just... what is your sim setup because we've seen some elaborate setups we've also seen you know just the computer and the pedals right so i just got the computer and the pedal I'll turn, i think i can turn this thing around so the people on twitter are joking around um i they thought i was joking around but i was serious so i sit in a i actually when I moved to Indiana, like I said, I used to, let's see if I can turn this around. So, there we go. oh, wow. You are basic. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's it. So I actually do sit in a lawn chair too. I wasn't joking. Um, Love so like I said, back in the, back when I lived in California, I was on my computer a lot. So I went to college and, um, when I got back from class and stuff, I just, I raced basically. I didn't do too much. All my high school friends were gone. Um, I raced on the weekends and stuff like that, but it wasn't near my schedule now. So when I moved to Indiana, I didn't want to sit on this computer all day, so I never bought a chair. <laughs> and now that all this stuff is happening, I don't have a chair, so I sit in this lawn chair. And uh, yeah, the people on Twitter thought I was joking, but I was completely serious. But yeah, I got a pretty basic setup, but um, yeah, I've driven a lot of really, you know, expensive, really nice setups, and they're awesome, and they're fun to drive in, but um, I just don't see it making that big of a difference for me, and I just like to have a, you know, usable computer. I can still sit here and do normal stuff on my computer and not have to have this big old thing in my room that takes up a bunch of room. We've seen some drivers, they drive in socks, they drive barefoot, some have snacks beside them, some have <laughs> drinks. I will keep what's inside of the drinks and inside of the bottles uh, nameless as well. Yep. But what is your iRacing kind of setup look like when you are actually getting ready to race? Um, yeah, so I'm definitely normally um, barefoot, sometimes well, socks, but so normally weird. <laughs> definitely no shoes, 100% no shoes. Um, normally just in the water, maybe, you know, maybe some snacks, but nothing crazy. But yeah, normally just the water. And um, yeah, like I said, lately, I've been on it, again, way too much. But like I said, there's that's basically all we're able to do right now. You can't really do much 
in the outside world. Um, but yeah, I've been putting a lot of practice laps in and like I said, probably on it a little bit too much, but it's paying off and I've won some big races and um, the outlaw stuff has been paying some money. So that's nice to make a little money when we're not making money racing. Um, and before I let you go, I want to know what the upcoming weeks look like because I know we get a little bit of a breather um, this weekend as far as anything Saturday night or Sunday, but what does your iRacing weeks look like in the upcoming weeks? Um, yeah, I, I've been trying to tell people that I can't even believe what's happening really. I went, you know, I would never would have thought that I would live in a world where I'm racing on iRacing almost every day. I feel like I raced, you know, yesterday I raced tonight, I raced tomorrow with the World of Outlaws on FS1 on Wednesday. Um, it's, you know, a thousand bucks to win every race. So between, you know, yesterday to tonight and tomorrow, I can win $3,000. And then um, my car owner on the dirt side of things has is putting on a race this Saturday, actually, that's 2000 to win. So, um, you know, it's like, I, you know, I went from thinking I wasn't going to make any money during this whole deal to um, racing for almost, you know, five grand every week. It's like, who would have thought you could make this much money i racing? But um, like I said, luckily, everybody's been taking full advantage of it. And, you know, the people at home are watching and, um, you know, the sponsors are still getting their, um, you know, their, their time in the on the air and on the TV and stuff like that. So um, it's working out for a lot of people. And I'm glad that we can put on a show for fans. So, yeah, the last few weeks, um, like I said, I've been racing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, Thursday, USAC puts on a series. And, um, you know, I'm starting to do that Saturday with NASCAR, too. So um yeah like i said a week or two ago i would have never thought this was gonna happen but um here we are racing almost every day um you I know i go from racing almost every day in real life to now racing almost every day on this dang computer so um <laughs> yeah i, think, I, I, I think... can i can tell you that it has been a, a learning curve for me i knew the basics of i racing and you know that it can help some guys on the real track but right. actually watching it and learning it and now i have all these different series that are all different days it's it's nice to have all that much racing, but at the same time, it's like, okay, wait, what series is this that we're racing right. on? So I have to right. keep up with them in my head. Right. I think we're all definitely glad to have somewhere to race and something to do, but we definitely, definitely don't ever hope it replaces the real thing. And I don't ever think it will, but um, yeah, it's definitely nice to have something to do while we're, while we're down and still, you know, I think we're probably the only sport that are able to mm -hmm. simulate any sort of, you know, um, actual event. And it's pretty cool that we're able to do that. All right, Logan. Well, congratulations on all the wins. Um, I'm cheering for you to win that three thousand dollars because that's grocery money. You gotta, you gotta yeah. buy food right now. <laughs> exactly. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on here. Thanks for joining. It. Everybody, stay safe.